My name is Bob Keaton, and it's a pleasure to be able to ask a few questions of the author, Paxton Roby. He spent a lot more time speaking to groups across the country than writing, and yet his book is No Time for Karma, and the website, notimeforkarma.com. First thing I want to ask you is, what is going on with time, or is it only something going on with our perception? That's easy to answer. There is nothing but our perception. (laughs) Nothing else exists but our perception. There is no reality out there. So far as time and space are concerned, they're tools. They are special conditions imposed upon Earth school for learning purposes. They're not normal. They don't exist in most of even the universe, let alone beyond the universe. Many years ago, I uh, received a little message from my personal guides who tried to explain time to me. First of all, they said, uh, when, you try to, when you talk to people, don't ever try to tell the truth. I said, because you have no clue about what the truth is. You have no clue about what's going on here. The truth of reality is so much greater, so much more magnificent, so much more divine, so much more loving than anything human beings have reference points for, that they, they just can't ex- uh, accept that from their p- current perspective. Now, the truth itself probably will not change, but our perceptions do. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It is said by many spiritual teachers, the only thing that is real is that which does not change. Now, everything in our worlds change, right? Love doesn't change. So that's, that's what's real. Okay. Now, so far as the learning tools that we deal with, time and space, and we've heard people tell us the last couple of years particularly that Earth is shifting to the fourth or fifth dimension. That's kind of a New Age buzz slogan that's going on here. But in a, in a way, I think that's quite true. Now, my guides telling me about time uh, said, let us give you a little perspective about reality compared to what you're experiencing. They said, from a fourth dimensional perspective, which everybody goes to as soon as they leave their body, you're in that fourth dimension. Or if, fall asleep. Like a dream, for example, when you... you oh, oh, I see. Yes, exactly. Go out of body. Yeah. In a dream state. Is that similar to fourth dimensional experience? And everybody knows that when you're in a dream state, time can be anything. You can go forward in time, backwards in time. You can be in multiple places at the same time. There's no limits on dreams, right? And that's much closer to reality than our physical expression of reality. So this fourth dimensional being said, just, he said, this is not true, but it's helpful. It's a useful story, okay? From our point of view, Time is not linear as you see it in the third dimension. Past is past, can't do anything about that, so you feel guilty. Future is coming bearing down on you, so you have fear, can't do anything about that. Said from a fourth dimensional perspective, first of all, when you step out of your body, you're not in time, but you can view time as a circle in the fourth dimension instead of linear. And you can go either way around the circle. So you can go backwards in time, forwards in time, If you choose to incarnate again, you can step on the circle at any point you want to, the year 3000 AD, 3000 BC, any time you want. You can relive the same life you just lived. You have many options regarding time. And then a fellow from the fifth dimension came in and said, well, from our point of view, it's not linear, it's not circular, circular, circular. It's easy for you to say. (laughs) <laughs> but it is a dot. It is a point. He said, from our point of view, all time is simultaneous time. And he said, what that means for us is that if in the present moment we think a loving thought, we have transformed all of our past and all of our future into love. Likewise, if we were to think a negative thought, we've transformed all of our past and all of our future into hell. So we can simply by thinking a loving thought create an eternity of love because all time is simultaneous time. And a guy from the sixth dimension came in and he said, from our point of view, it's not a straight line, it's not a circle, it's not a dot. All time is no time. And he said, we have, 
Uh, you have no reference points for understanding that, so we won't tell you about seventh dimension until later. <laughs> so if we are progressing, what this means is if we are progressing as a planet, as a family, as an evolving civilization of awakening beings into fifth dimensional reality, which other than the fact that people tend to take things literally, I would say that is true. I don't think we're going anywhere, but our consciousness is moving that direction. Uh, that would mean that all time is simultaneous time. That would mean we are done with guilt and we are done with fear because we have no past and we have no future bearing down on us. And if we choose in the present moment to be love, think a loving thought, our experience will be 100% love. So then the book title, No Time for Karma, now sounds like no time. Well, that's just a statement of fact. Right. For karma must have been your dedication, huh? <laughs> well, we're moving from karma to no time. We are. And oh, I see. Okay, that's fair. Karma good. has never existed. Uh -huh. You know, there is no past. There is no linear time. So we didn't have a past that we're trying to make up for or a past in which we made mistakes which condemned us to certain experiences in the future. Hey, consider all time to be simultaneous time and you don't have to worry about karma. You don't have to worry about the past. You don't have to worry about anything. Worry is a negative thought. Just be love and your experience will be love. Now all reality exists within your mind. You don't live in this world, the world is in your mind. If you are love, think love, feel love, your entire experience, which you are creating in your mind, will be love. And so we don't need to say, well, what about the bad guys? If I don't watch out for them, they'll get me. If you're thinking love, they don't exist. They no longer exist because you have no room in your mind for anything but love. 2012 is when we're recording this conversation. When we look back from the other side, how do you guess these days will look to us? Everything is a time of learning. We can look back anywhere you want to in time, realizing that if you're looking into time, you're looking into something that isn't true. It's an audiovisual training program for educational purposes only. Okay? So you're looking into something that isn't true and you're seeing its purpose was to awaken me. Its purpose was to awaken me, to lead me down a path which will cause me to remember who I am and who I have always been. And that is source, that is God. How does one know that they've reached that point of awakening. I mean, what will the evidence be that I got it? If you have to ask or look for it, you're not there yet. On the web at notimeforkarma.com, you've been listening to Paxton Roby.